There's one final secret that twins are revealing that affects all of us. It's about how to have a longer and healthier life. Twins certainly live longer than the rest of us. Is there something about them that helps them through the difficult times? Eric and Barrick Wooten are 82-year-old twins. In their younger days, they were famous entertainers, performing in some of the first pop bands in Australia. We were known as the Harmony Twins. It was oh, Swiss yodeling. Swiss yodeling in those always, days. Always did Swiss yodeling. Uh, in those days, we were dressed in our Swiss outfits. Yeah, Swiss outfits. We had a Swiss outfit. <laughs> Eric always had a guitar and I always had a, a mandolin. That's right. I still play the mandolin, Eric still plays his guitar. I do. But we can't yodel anymore. No. The voices just aren't good enough, they don't stand up to it. These brothers are part of a study of over 600 older twins. Our interest is in the ageing brain and the development of cognitive disorders such as dementia and late life. Neuropsychiatrist Paminda Sachdev is leading this investigation. Jeez, that was a long one. Ah, there we go. We know that both genetic and environmental factors are important for the development of dementia and also how we age. So we thought that perhaps the Twin design would be very appropriate to examine this. It's in G. What do you want to do? <sighs> Professor Sashdev's twins research is already challenging the conventional science of ageing. We used to think the genetic contribution to the development of Alzheimer's disease was high, as much as 70%. Twins research suggests that it may be lower, only about 35 to 40% which actually to some extent gives us heart that maybe there are environmental factors that may be modifiable uh, in order to push back the development of Alzheimer's disease. Now, they've, they've got to get that cord right. Uh... I'll call it out to you. These studies have revealed something else about maintaining our mental strength. Our studies show that some aspects of brain reserve, and here we're looking at the kind of mental activity that they do and also social interaction seem to be very important in terms of preserving cognitive function later in life. Physical activity we know is also important, but in our study did not emerge as being as significant as complex cognitive activity and social engagement uh, in later life. Barry and Eric are both sharp as attack. So what's their secret formula for living a long and healthy life? <laughs> Does that sound any better? Uh, a little bit better. One of the things about being a twin, you're never lonely. Ever lonely. No. You've always got a mate. Always got a mate. Hey, what? Yeah? I'm just going to put the billy on. Why don't Come over and have a cuppa. I didn't think you'd invite me for a while. That's all right, that's all right. I'm going to, might as well make it for the two of us. Yeah. OK. When we come home and he puts drops from my eyes and I'll be coming out my door to get the drops because he keeps them here and he's coming out his door to go into my place to give them to me and that happens time and time again. It does. I'm the guest. You can OK, make... well, I'll put, the, I'll put the billy on. There we put go. Put the billy on, all right. Will we finish other's uh, sentences? Yeah, oh, we do. Yeah. One for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, wherever you go, and we go together a heck of a lot. Oh, yeah. Uh, he leads me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Don't blame me for those things that happened to you. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. No, uh, but, uh, yeah, see, to be a twin is to... To know a twin is to be a twin. That's great. Look at the camera. Good. Good smiles. Good.